the Civil Rights Act have a religion prong to them, saying that you can't discriminate on the basis of religion. But actually, and this is what I'm about to tell you is just black letter law, it says that not only does that mean you can't discriminate against an employee, say a teacher here, on the basis of a religion, but it also means that you can't force an employee to bow down to that religion. So it applies to teachers as employees, but it also applies, there's an analogy as it applies to establishing religion in schools. Sure. So the question is whether this woke ideology meets the Supreme Court's test for what counts as a religion. Right. And it turns out the Supreme Court has long held that secular humanism counts as a religion, mm -hmm. that this, you know, there's a lot of funny religions. There's one called Onion Head, one called Creativity. <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a whole body of case law. Right. But there's these like really, really quirky sure, belief I, systems that count as religions okay. for, for this Title VII purposes. But if those things count as religion, then what you see in the case of modern gender ideology, oh, for, what yeah. you see in, in the, in the, see in the case of sort of modern critical race narratives and race-based wokeism, yeah. these meet the Supreme Court's test to a T. And that means these are some of the largest scale civil rights violations and even religious establishment clause violations that we've seen in modern American history.